The decorative stitches in this machine are amazing, but you truly need to see them stitched out on fabric to see their true beauty. So I always suggest that you take some time to sew each of the stitches out in the each of the menus, because when you actually follow and, and do what um, this here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put foot S on. Look how pretty this stitch is. Now this is one of the Omnimotion stitches in the K2 menu. Notice that it is wider than the foot shown. Down here it is 30 millimeters wide. So I'm gonna kind of keep the fabric going uh, parallel to the edge of my foot. A lot of these are just regular seven millimeters wide, but it, if it ever says more than seven, it's gonna kind of sew a little bit side to side. And it is fun to see what they look, look like in stitches. Try them with variegated thread too. If you don't want to hold your foot on the foot control as you sew all these stitches out, utilize the start stop button and just have some fun watching and being creative as the machine does all the work for you. So I'm going to go ahead and push stop or actually if I push the selective thread cutter it will blink and it will cut when it gets to the end of the pattern. You're going to notice that as you go through the machine, oh, isn't that great? As you go through the machine, if you touch the stitch, let it show you the repeat that is shown as you, they uh, come together here. Because sometimes what you see as just one item looks kind of funny, but when you actually see it in a row, you see the whole entire look of the stitch. Like for example, this kind of looks like a little argyle picture and sure enough, that's gonna have a really neat look when you go to sew it. So take some time. It is worth investing time in your machine of learning what each of these stitches truly look like. Let's see what we get here. With my foot on the foot control, touch the selective thread cutter. It sews to the end locks it and cuts it and lifts the foot. Oh, isn't that amazing? Now when it shows foot B, that's what most of your decorative stitches are gonna call for, that's the foot that has the cutout underneath. So there's room for all the thickness of the stitch to flow out the back and not kinda get hung up. Foot S is much larger than your regular foot and it will have the, the stability to keep that stitch going side to side for those larger stitches. When you go to your stitch menu, all the stitches are kind of grouped together. If you're not sure what they're for, use the question mark and let the description tell you these are pictogram stitches, stitches that can be put together in elements. Your H stitches, those are some of the bigger stitches or scallop stitches, look how big they are. See that S foot? That stitch is gonna be bigger than the foot. So it's really fun to see stitched out. Take the time to sew out all your decorative stitches. You will thank me later.